After two months of searching for a fix, I finally got it working. Yes, you heard it right. SoundSense is back. If you are new here, SoundSense is an ESP home package that adds sounds person detections to your home assistant voice satellites, like the voice PE and the rear speaker light. Combined with the Assist Start Conversation action, this completely changed how you interact with your smart home. And if you're ready, let's go! Before we dive in, let me give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. If you're working on your own DIY electronic projects, PCBWay offers high quality PCB manufacturer, assembly, and prototyping services at affordable prices. I use them for my own builds, and their fast turnaround and excellent support make them a great choice for makers and professionals like us. Check the description for more information and ways to support the channel. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. So what happened? As I always say, software always breaks. This is just another example. This time the ESP Home team made a change to the function that allow access to the data from the microphone. This happened just two weeks after I launched the package. So naturally, I got to work. I really liked this idea, so I wasn't just about to let it go. I also integrated this package into my pre-speaker light firmware. So I had to stop updating the firmware while I sorted things out. Every time a new SP Home version came out, I felt the same impulse pressure creeping in. After some research, I found that it was still possible to access the microphone data by setting up a callback. Now, every time the microphone updates, the sound level sensor updates as well. This approach is actually better since there is no need to periodically read the microphone's data. The sensor gets updated in real time. Let me tell you a bit more about what makes SoundSense special and why you might want to add it to your assist satellite. SoundSense is not just about detecting if there is noise in the room, it is smart enough to understand the difference between silence, quiet moments, normal activity, sudden loud noises, and ongoing presence. It does this by analyzing the ambient sound and classifying it into five different states. Silence, quieting, active, noise, and presence. This means your smart home can react differently if you are just passing by, having a conversation, or if the room has been quiet for a while. One of the coolest features is dynamic volume control. SoundSense can automatically adjust your device's volume based on the current sound environment. If your home is quiet, the volume stays low, but if things get lively, it ramps up so you never miss an announcement. You can fine-tune how sensitive it is, set your preferred minimum volume, and decide what sound level should count as presence. SoundSense uses smart algorithms to convert audio samples into decibel measurements, applies smoothing and hysteresis to avoid rapid volume changes, and even pauses processing during media playback to prevent feedback loops. All of this happens automatically, so you get a seamless, natural experience. So, how do you use it in your ESP Home project? Aside from adding the package to your YAML file, you need to add an on-data callback to your microphone configuration. This will trigger the script that updates the sound level sensor. After that, just compile and install it on your device. And now I'm going to show you how to use it in your automations. Since this is a special sensor due to the way that sound fluctuates, there are some considerations to create a useful and, most importantly, non-annoying automation. In that video, I mentioned that presence detection sensors like ESP Presence will become more valuable with this functionality. This is the ideal scenario to use the new sound presence sensor with your assist satellites. But this creates a new scenario. Imagine that you want to create multiple automations for different actions using the same sound presence detection sensor. If two automations use the conversation action on the same assist satellite, only the last one triggered will be executed. To address this, I created my assist conversation handler script. That allows you to queue multiple requests, allowing you to create multiple automations using the conversation action without having to worry about them possibly being triggered at the same time. With this script, requests will be queued and sent sequentially with a configurable delay between them. To get this script, you'll only need to unlock it for free on my website. To facilitate this, I recently completed a Google validation process that allows me to integrate YouTube information on my website. So now, if you're subscribed to my channel and log into my website with your Google account, you can directly access my free blueprints, automations, scripts, and more from the free section of my shop. This will also allow me to send you a notification every time an item you unlock gets updated, so you can always stay up to date with the latest changes. And don't worry, I will only send you emails about updates of items you unlocked, unless you subscribe to my monthly newsletter, that you can easily activate or deactivate from your profile page or if you follow a specific tutorial and it gets updated. There is also an option on every tutorial that allows you to request for a tutorial update. This will make it easier for you to let me know when a tutorial needs updating. I also added a change log section on every item from the shop. So every time that you get an update, you'll know exactly what has changed. 
After you unlock it, just copy it and then go to Home Assistant. Here go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, click on Scripts, and here click on Create a Script. Create new script. Now click on the three dots and click on Editing Jumble. Here just select everything and then just paste it. Now click on the three dots again and click on Editing Visual Editor. From here, what I advise you to do is change the defaults. For example, on a C satellite, you can scroll down and select default. Here, select your C satellite, so every time that you use the script, it will automatically use your defaults. So it will take you less time to set it up. Then just click on save. And then click on rename. For example, on my assistant music conversation automation, I added the sound sensor as a trigger and I set the two to presence. And instead of using the conversation action directly, I just added the script and pretty much just copied and pasted the same instructions. But here there are two additional options. The first one is going to be an input boolean. If you've seen my automation videos before, you know that I like to use input booleans to store states. Like in this case, to know if the assist satellite process is currently running. You can create one directly from the dropdown. You should use the same input boolean for each assist satellite on your smart home across automations. Then there is the cooldown. This is a set amount of time to wait before the last conversation was triggered to execute the next one. Now, to prevent this from becoming an annoying automation, we are going to use another input helper. This time to store the amount of time since the last time the automation was successfully triggered. This will allow us to put a hard cap on how often our assistant can ask us about a specific action. For this, I added an input boolean turn on action after the script. And I added an additional condition to only allow the automation to be executed if the input boolean is off. Now, with that set up, we need to create an automation that will turn off the input boolean after a set amount of time. For this, you can copy the example from my website. Here, just click on copy. Then go back to Home Assistant. And here, just go to Settings, Automations, Create Automation, and create a new automation. From here, if you are running the last version of Home Assistant, you can just paste it. Here, you just need to update the entities. Here, select the input boolean for the automation. And you can adjust the time that you want to wait before allowing the automation to be triggered again. I set mine to 1 hour. Then scroll down, and on the action, select the same input boolean. I added an additional trigger to turn it off if silence was detected for 10 straight minutes. For this, just update the sound detection entity here, or you can disable this if you want. Then just click on save. Give it a name and click rename. And while I was testing the automation, I noticed that although for the most part, this was everything that we needed, there were some special occasions when the conversation action failed due to unknown AI reasons. And the assist conversation handler would simply stop execution without turning the input boolean off. So to tackle this scenario, we need to create an additional automation. This one is really simple. Again, you can copy it from my website. Here, just click on copy and create a new automation. And here, just paste it. Now, here, as a trigger, we are going to select our assist satellite. And we are going to trigger it if the assist satellite goes idle for 2 minutes. Then scroll down. And here, in condition, I added that this will only run if the input boolean is turned on. Then scroll down. And for the action, I just selected input boolean turn off. 
So, in the not so unlikely scenario where the AI fails to execute, the input boolean will be turned off so that the assist conversation handler can keep on processing all the requests. And that's it! With Samsung's running on your device, you'll experience a smarter, more responsive home that truly adapts to your presence and activity. I hope this guide helped you get everything up and gave you some ideas from your own projects. If you have any questions or want to share your results, drop a comment down below. I love hearing from the community. If you want help with Home Assistant, you can book a one-hour meeting with me. As you can see, I don't take no for an answer when it comes to a problem. I found the solution. If you have a configuration or network design problem, automation driving you crazy, I surely can help you find a solution that works for you. If you like my work, please consider becoming a member on Patreon like all these amazing people. If you can become a member, you can always enable whatever you like using the button on our website. And if you can do that, don't worry. Just remember to leave a comment on the video and share it with your friends. I truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!